<laughs> Hi, I'm Brittany Muller. I'm a digital art major in transmedia, is my specification. My hometown is Dallas area, but I'm originally from South Africa, and my whole family is from South Africa. We moved here about six years ago. Honestly, for a while, I struggled with mental health. I mean, I've always struggled with mental health, but especially sophomore year. I'm a senior now, but sophomore year was probably one of the worst that I struggled with because I went through like depression and all of that I guess just adapting because that was the same year that I transferred from a community college from being with my family and them in Dallas to coming to Texas Tech and like being by myself so yeah so I kind of faced that and went through all of that just really feeling alone and struggling to like adapt to like school and everything and kind of hit a wall I got through it though with counseling and like medication and stuff like that and I'm one who does not like medication so that was just something I didn't want to do but it definitely helped. My mental health now since the pandemic has honestly at one of its worst places that it's been. And I haven't gone through depression again but anxiety and just stress in general for my mental health has been really bad. Especially in the beginning being isolated. I went back home with my family and as much as I loved them and I loved being around them, it was a struggle because I was inside all day with them and I wasn't used to that and that was already a big thing. And then adding school to it, especially being online and everything, I, I realized that I sh I'm a very physical person. I need to ask questions in person. I need you to show me how to do things. I need to like see them and then do them. And when it's online and stuff, I've noticed that I've struggled a lot because I can't have someone just show me how to do it physically and like in front of me. And so that's honestly put a damper on a lot of my grades and stuff. And yeah, I've just been struggling with that. And then obviously coming back to tech and staying here. I haven't, I thought I would do better because I'd be by myself and I'd be like having my alone time, which is what I needed after coming back home from, um, being with my family isolated for so long but honestly especially with the online classes they've become even harder than what they were in person for me like I said earlier but now it's like I have this time to do stuff and instead of doing it I just end up being avoidant of it because I don't I, I get so overwhelmingly stressed that I would rather just avoid it than actually do it. <laughs> So that's kind of how I've been dealing <laughs> with my mental health right now and like my stressors and stuff. I've just been like avoiding them until the last minute, which honestly makes it worse because then I'm super stressed out for like a couple hours before it's due trying to figure out and put things together. But I, I don't know, I still feel like that's sometimes better than being stressed for a week about a project. I can just forget about it initially and then remember it last minute and do it. <laughs> I think the stuff that honestly helps my mental state is actually having my own time, for one. That was a big thing, which I feel like I haven't really had. Like, yes, I've been avoidant of stuff, but then by being avoidant of, like, the one project that's really stressing me out, I'll do another one. You know, I feel like time-wise, I don't have a lot of time, especially because I'm working as well. My time management skills are awful <laughs> so being having such a full schedule and stuff in general and now having to like fit everything and um, take into consideration things that will help my mental health haven't been going well so yeah I think alone time helps me the most meditation used to help me and I just and have not done it I keep using the excuse because it takes too much time and I do not have the time but honestly it takes like 30 seconds <laughs> and I know that would help me but for some reason I just have been putting it off and also spending time with friends I think like that helps you just kind of forget about the stressors in your life just a little bit and that helps my mental health at least for um, short periods of time <laughs> until like I need to like reboot or something and what also helps, which is also awful, is sometimes breakdowns. Because <laughs> you have those breakdowns with everything that you're stressing about, and then after you're like, okay, I either have to fix it or not do it. And then I come to some type of conclusion on how to figure it out. And then once it's over, I'm super relieved uh, until the next project <laughs> is starting to hit. And then I'm like, so usually the r relief is short term and more like a day or two and then back on the whole bus thing. I think as next year and especially next semester I'm still stressed out. I'm, I'm an overthinker in general so thinking about what's gonna happen in the future stresses me out so yeah a lot of things stress me out. <laughs> but yeah I think mainly 
I'm very worried about how this transition from like possibly going back to in-person classes like more than I am right now is gonna like really affect my whole schedule and my work schedule and everything that I'm like having to do I'm wondering if it's gonna be better or worse or you know just how it's gonna affect me in general going back to classes and not just being in my room all day it might be a good thing but it might also be a very bad thing <laughs> having to like get up and I'm just worried that I'm not gonna want to do it I never thought this year would honestly look like this because it's my senior year I really thought that I would be like oh it's the final stretch you know a couple classes that I have of things I already know how to kind of do and so I won't be too stressed because I'll just be doing projects and no that literally hit south <laughs> over this semester so I'm hoping next semester is better and a lot easier, but um, I don't think it will be, so I'm preparing myself for that. And then after that, I will be graduating, and I have no idea what I'm going to do with my life. <laughs> so I want to go into, like, CGI in the entertainment field, so, like, um, motion graphics and animation and all of that type of stuff. But my major is fairly new. So it's only been a major for probably two or three years. So this semester actually is the first class graduating from um, that major. So I'll be the literally the second class to graduate from the major next semester. I just feel like unprepared for what I want to do. I feel like I just do not know enough knowledge that I was supposed to know by the time graduating or at least applying for internships senior year to actually work in that field or I just feel lost in the direction that I need to go next to get to my whole career goal. So I feel a little unprepared, a little anxious about that, but I also believe everything happens for a reason. That's another thing that I do to help me <laughs> with my mental health is just tell myself everything happens for a reason because that makes me realize that as hard as it is right now, it's for a reason and it's for a purpose. And that makes me feel better than just, oh, why is this happening to me? What reason? <laughs> so, yeah.